Daishi journeys ever closer to her underwater tunnel, her heart swells. Hmm. My heart doesn't appear to be swelling. Swells with pride, Mikshi! With pride! You've completed so much of your tunnel. Aren't you proud of yourself? Gord, back me up here! Seems proud to me. Look at the angle of her head. I feel... moderately satisfied. Ugh. Gord, prepare a Seranium charge. She's wanted to build this underwater tunnel since we were five years old. She can't tell me she isn't jumping for joy inside. Oh, this may excite your listeners, Chickalina. We are about to deploy an explosive charge to clear those rocks ahead. Oh, yes! Do you get an adrenaline rush every time you blow up rocks? No. It's standard procedure to level a lake bed. Ugh! This podcast is gonna be so dry! <sighs> Good one. What was that? It wasn't the seranium charge. I didn't even know of it. Everyone stay calm! Ah! Ah! Oh, we lost the starboard engine. Some sort of tremor. Uh, we may be on top of an active volcano. What? You can't shut down Crumpet Laboratories. I, Dr. Crumpet, designed it myself to showcase my genius. Dr. Crumpet. This is the most combustible laboratory I've ever seen! Have you no regard for safety? Ah, look here! The Crumpet Door 64 is the epitome of safety! It's the world's most impressive computer! Powered entirely by seranium! Mr. Mayor, we might have to cancel the- Oh, Mikshi! Thank goodness. You're using seranium for computer power, Dr. Crumpet? It's highly combustible. It makes it faster. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, we might have to cancel the aqua tunnel. <gasps> but Mikshi, that tunnel is your pride and joy. I think the trough basin volcano reactivated. <gasps> the volcano under the lake bed? Oh, no, where did I put that hammer? <laughs> hasn't erupted in over a thousand years. Volcanic eruption intervals can range from no, I'm trying to fix my computer. tens to thousands of years. <sighs> this is just bad timing. But don't you want to see your tunnel finished? Well, I know I do. I made this aqua tunnel the basis of my entire election campaign. Yes, but... I'd rather not disturb the lake bed and risk triggering an eruption. Ah! Okay, Mikshi. Keep me updated. Dr. Crumpet, ah! I've seen enough. Crumpet Laboratories is hereby condemned. Condemned? Oh. Oh. But I'm the city's number one scientist! Ah! Moment of truth. Is there an active volcano in Truff Basin? My computer's still analyzing the data from my muon detectors. Ugh, how much longer? Your what detectors? Muon detectors. A muon is a tiny particle made by cosmic rays from space. Huh? I'm tracking the time between when the muons hit my reference detectors on Lake Mabuki and the time they hit my receiver detectors on the bottom of the lake. Huh? Using those numbers, we can determine if the lake bed has been displaced. Oh, and find out if we have to uh, cancel the aqua tunnel. 
princess is finished, Mikshi. What's it say? Oh, no. There is displacement of the lake bed in Trough Basin. That means there's an active volcano under there. Using explosive charges could have triggered an eruption, which would have put the entire city of Mabukiville underwater. Oh, Mikshi. Your tunnel. Sorry, Mikshi. Horrid, start scanning for a new location where we can build the tunnel. I'm going to check on the submarine. It got pretty damaged. Yep, she's sad, all right. Really sad. Why, hello there. I am Mikshi. I'd like to take my submarine out to Trough Basin, please. Oh, hello, Mikshi. New glasses. Indeed they are. Gates open. That fear-mongering little sheep scientist is too scared to build the mayor's tunnel, eh? When he sees that I've done it, he'll be so pleased. He'll give me my laboratory back. And I will be declared the greatest scientist in the city! <laughs> you already know you're the greatest, big shit. <laughs> Gates open. Brent, have you seen my submarine? Well, yes. You just took it out, Mikshi. Wait a tick. You're right here. Then who was that other Mikshi I saw earlier? She had some very nice glasses. Made her look a bit hamsterish, mind. Crumpet! I tried radioing, but the signal can't reach him underwater. Chigalina, you're a fast driver. Take your bearer car onto the lake and try him from there. Gord, stand by. Hmm. Look how easy this is! Charge loaded. Countdown set for 15 minutes. Deploy! Switching to hydro drive! Dr. Crumpet! This is Chikolina! Do you read? Of course I read. Journals, newspapers. Shut up and listen. Mikshi has confirmed there is an active volcano right beneath where you are. Do not lay any seranium charges. No, please. I don't believe in your volcano. I'm a volcano denier. Besides, nearly all the seranium charges are in place and set to go off in less than 15 minutes. I can't believe him! This is going in the podcast. He's going to trigger an eruption and cause a tsunami that will put the whole city underwater. Launch stations, Gord. I always say, why lay a few charges when you can lay them all? Last one, best one. Thank you, Dr. Crumpet. You're welcome, Mr. Mayor. Here are the keys to your laboratory, Dr. Crumpet. <laughs> now to get out of here. What? And they say my inventions don't work properly. Hello. 
Is anyone still up there? Magno grab ready, Mikshi. Let's hope we're in time. Mackey Field is the closest uninhabited area. We'll have to safely deposit the seranium charges there. You want me to what? Put on the wetsuit and swim up to the surface. I can get you out of here. Oh, my fur will get all squished. Oh, my fur! Ah. How much time do we have? Uh, they're set to detonate in one minute, so, uh... Thank you for the ride. Mixi, did you hear that? You've got less than a minute! Uh, the magnogram's struggling! Picking up Mackey Field on the Hadar! Just past Corpus Laboratories! We're almost there! Awake again after a thousand years. And a sheep who knew when to stop and how to start again. What'd you think? Bravo. Great podcast. But I didn't scream in fear during the rescue. I was only mildly worried. Sure, Mixi. Whatever you say. Mixi. Congratulations on finding a new location for the Aqua Tunnel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can somebody remind me why I'm here? I'm so bored. You'll stay there and complete your safety training with Mikshi. Ow. Hello, I'm Professor Doug Wintanaka. In today's story, Mikshi used a moometric technique called MUPS to monitor volcanic movement. You may wonder, however, why didn't she use just GPS? Well, GPS uses radio wave signals, and those cannot penetrate into water. The key feature of MUPS is three-dimensional positioning. This is because a number of muons penetrate into the sea from various angles to reproduce a similar configuration to GPS satellites and receivers. The position of the target can be well defined within the reference frame defined by the detectors. As we speak, cosmic rays from outer space are continuously creating zillions of muons in the Earth's atmosphere. And real-life scientists are trying to use MUPS to monitor underwater volcano activities, just like Mikshi. I hope this inspires you.